Hi there and welcome to the first video in my series on getting started with SolidWorks. My name is Christian and in this video we're going to talk about how to set up a new drawing and how to get around your drawing and how the interface functions in SolidWorks. Let's go ahead and get started by clicking on the button up at the top corner here that lets us pull up a new document. You'll see here we have three options. We're going to talk about these three options in much greater detail at a later point. Um, be aware that that if you are in designing a single part like a screw, you want to make sure that you have parts selected. If you want to put together uh, a component or a series of components in an assembly, like um, uh, if you're working on a motor and you want to have all the parts of a motor all together in the same model, that would be an assembly. And if you need to put together documentation for print um, or for some sort of publishing, uh, you'll use the drawing option here. And we're going to come back to these again at different points and uh, and go over these different functions and how they work. For right now, let's go ahead and just start really basic, simple on the part option. Go ahead and click OK. The first thing I want to talk about is the uh, the ribbon up at the top here. And again, if, if you've used Autodesk products, you're probably familiar with the ribbon. Again, the the uh, the ribbon is a little different here, but it's the same concept. Um, it's also, I think Microsoft came up with it in, in Office 2007 or something like that, and everyone hated it, and now it's here for, for good. Anyhow, so that's that's what we've got for getting around. And you'll notice here you've got different tabs, and the different tabs give you different options, allow you to perform different functions on your model, or different functions on your on your, your drawing, the different elements of your drawing. On the left, we have, the um, it's called the, the Feature Manager in it has different names and different pieces of software, but this is a, a, a function of feature-based modeling products like SolidWorks that you're going to find in every package that you get because this is this is an essential function of, of feature-based modeling projects. So what you have here is you have uh, a kind of a breakdown of how how the the features of the of the model that you're fun you're working on are put together. And you're going to see this flesh out more and more and more as we as we work with the, the project. And we're going to come back to this on a regular basis. So be very, very, very much aware that this is here. Also, be aware that you can switch tabs here on that. And so if this is not an option, you can uh, you can make it come back. Also, you have this option to, to collapse and to expand it. And so if it's not showing up, chances are it's been collapsed. Over here on the top of the the workspace here you'll see a few few buttons and these allow you to um, to be able to get around your drawing a little more easily you've got a pan option here a zoom to fit um, you've got different different functions for being able to change the the way you're looking at things uh, for example you can slice on a plane a section view um, and then it's got some options in terms of um, object visibility and and coloring and display style and stuff like that. And if you look over here on the left, you've got these little buttons over here as well. And these are, um, you have some interactive functionality here that you can you can work with other people directly from within the software. And um, you've got options to, to pull up a design library of, of pre pre-constructed parts that you can use in your in your projects. For example, it'd be ridiculous to have to to have to remodel every screw every time that you have to, to do something, or even the first time. I mean, it's their standards and they should be out there. So those those functions here are going to be in the design library or, or pipe fittings or, or cable ties or, or things like that. So uh, you've also got a file explorer that lets you pull up stuff inside of your project on your computer. And um, and you can kind of browse through these a little bit. As we As we need them, we're going to be pulling them up um, but for the most part, I just want you to be aware that this is this is a, a function here. So that's about it in terms of interface. So let's go ahead and talk about how to get around your model a little bit. And in order to do that, I'm going to need to make a really, really basic drawing. So what we're going to do, and this is going to be standard for, for kind of here on out, we're going to create a sketch. So we head over to the sketch tab, make a sketch. We're going to pick a plane that we want it to live on. I'm going to stick it on the front plane for right now. And I'm just going to. This is this is uh, strictly for the purpose of of um, of demonstration. So nothing's going to be. We're not going to worry about measurements or anything like that. I'm going to just 
make a sketch, and then I'm going to head over to Features, and we're going to revolve this really quick. And that gives us some geometry to look at. Now, if you're using just a mouse and keyboard, you'll note that the mouse, if you click, middle click and drag, allows you to rotate. If you use the scroll wheel, it allows you to zoom in different places. And if you hold down the control key and use the scroll button and click and drag, it lets you pan. If you hold down the shift key and use the scroll wheel to click and drag, it lets you zoom in and out. So that's the basic way to get around this. From here on out, I actually am going to be using a 3D mouse. Um, I, I prefer using a 3D mouse in applications like this. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but I find that it's really, uh, really useful. For those of you who've watched my videos on AutoCAD, you'll know that I'm first and foremost a, a keyboard shortcut junkie, and this was probably the biggest stretch that I had to make when I when I came into working with um, feature-based modeling packages. There are still keyboard shortcuts, um, but in order to be able to use a 3D mouse functionally, I needed to be able to have both hands, one hand on, on my actual mouse, so I could actually interact with things and one things on my one hand on my 3D mouse so I could control my views and so my keyboard is now left vacant which means that I am kind of bound to using buttons up at the top which is we could have long discussions about that but that's uh that's about it you'll notice that when you click on things you can select different features um, and you'll see over here on our on our feature browser on our uh, feature manager you'll see we've got a revolve here that we selected and that is composed of a sketch that we created and there's the sketch and we can see so we can get around it here a little bit and there it is so that's about it for this video in this video we covered the interface we covered um, how to navigate around your model a little bit and if you have any questions or comments go ahead and leave them in the comments below if you thought this video was good go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you thought this video was life-changing go ahead and subscribe i'll bring in more of them and I will see you in the next video.